Hi, I'm Ray. Well, here we go. Looking for an allotment? Well, one of the best ways is to start by applying to the council, to your local council or parish council and see if they've got any allotments. Also worth doing a Google search and seeing if there's any community gardens or community allotments in your local area. Maybe take a walk along, have a look, see what's going on, talk to some people and then maybe get an interest and see whether that's what you want to do. But some of the waiting lists can be years, can be up to 20 years if it's a small community. So as soon as you're thinking about doing it, get your name down for the allotment. So you will find October, November, December is a good time that people give up their allotments. They found it hard during the previous season and they've given it up. But be very lucky to find an allotment in good condition. But if you just look at some weeds and it's not too bad. If there's weeds growing, it must be pretty good underneath. So that's a good sign. So just go around collecting up anything that's useful. It can be reused and put them aside. Even got a football in case we get bored. Check for any plants. If there's anything like strawberries, raspberries, or any currant bushes, it can be reused. So check if you're allowed bonfires, get an old oil drum, make some holes in the bottom and you can fill this up with all your old rubbish. Some councils, some allotments have dates where you can have bonfires from September to January and then nothing during the summer. So it's worth checking what dates you can have a bonfire. We even have a chimney on the allotment, keep nice and warm on these cool grey days. So check if you're allowed greenhouses or polytunnels and that's a great way of growing extra crops in the greenhouse or in the polytunnel and when it rains it's a great place to go and hide. So the next decision is if you want to go with raised beds using pallet collars or using scaffold boards or just do a traditional bed, just open ground and no structures. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds. And they can be rotated. You can throw potatoes in one, go on to the next one, and to the next one, and back again. And that's an easy way to control crop rotation, and just an easier way of maintaining the beds, easy to get to without walking on the soil. Looks good too. So a traditional allotment is growing them in lots of lines from front to back but it's up to you, it's totally your choice, whatever works for you. If wanting to maximise your space, laying paths, using membrane you can sow your crops right up to the edge and this is an easy way to maintain the plot and easy for anybody with access problems can easily walk along the plot. So there's lots of ideas having the paths with the slabs and this has got a bed of lavender 
and then a, another pile and then sections with no dig and dig with a rhubarb patch there and it all looks good so recycling an old polytunnel frame add some netting and it makes a great fruit cage or a brassica cage and it's a great way of recycling and using a useful frame so clear out all these weeds get a strimmer give the tops a strim <laughs> Once you've given your plot a strim, collect up the cardboard boxes. Remember to remove the sellotape and then we can lay the cardboard boxes. Over your plot and this will stop the weeds, surpass the weeds and the grass and then gradually die down. Make a strawberry bed with a few scaffold boards, a few strawberries placed into some membrane or you could use some straw but make sure you've got good strawberry plants within three years, four years they need replacing but you can save the suckers that are coming out and regrow them for some new plants. So in your first year, it's hard to determine how much space is needed. So it's best not to make too many big firm plans and just grow what you want to eat. And that's a great starter, because once you realise that one row of cauliflowers takes up quite a lot of space, then you know what you're doing. So another good idea is to make a plan, make a sketch of your plot and how you want to do it. So I'm making a plot which is time saving. So I'm cutting up my big plot so I'm making it into two halves and it's easier to grow side by side and a lot less time consuming weeding big areas. So I can just come in, weed one area and then go again and do the next area. So I'm going to have another path coming across the top and then my polytunnel arch at the back here and that would be great so you want to think about collecting water and where to put your water barrel and you can pick these up off of Facebook off of Marketplace or Gumtree or various places and they come pretty much cheap or free and you need to put these in places that's easy to reach so you don't go have to spend ages walking round, collecting water or taking it from one place to the other. Attach it to a shed and that would be a great way of harvesting water for your crops in the summer. The compost bins are pretty easy to find, pretty cheap to pick up, can be obtained on Facebook Marketplace or even Gumtree, places like that. And it's a great way to start adding your weeds and any organic matter into the composters and it's a good way to get your compost for the new year. So from October through to December, as long as it's not too wet and too damp, we can still go 
our onion sacks. This can be grown in the modules or grown directly into the ground and also garlic, garlic cloves. We just separate a bulb into sections and just plant one by one as long as it's not too wet and got some good, good drainage they'll be just fine also broad beans can be sown direct into the ground or started off in the trays and these are aqua dulce and they're already two weeks old and they're growing really good so they're going to go into the ground So, get yourself a little trowel, some good gloves, and a spade, and a fork, because they're your most precious tools, and even maybe a wheelbarrow, if you've got a big full of space. It's also a great community, having an allotment, you can come down, have a cup of coffee, Sometimes a bacon sandwich, that'd be lovely, especially on a wet day like today. And have a good chat, and you can swap plants, swap advice, swap seeds, and anything growing extra. It's great, it's such a great community, talking to people who also have the same hobbies as you. So, having an allotment does take a lot of time and a lot of energy. But where else would you want to be on a Sunday morning, in the rain, peace and quiet, with the birds, growing your own fruit and veg? <laughs> let me know in the comments. Have you just started an allotment? And that'd be great. And let me know what you decided to do. Raise beds, whether you're doing paths, grass, slabs. Let me know in the comments, that'd be great. And also, give me a like. That'd be wonderful. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. Ring that bell. Get notifications when I post some more. So I'm going to get a coffee in. Cheers.